fight is going to end early and it's going to end violently, just like every, every one of my fights. Now, Altimo, I run right out there, hit him with a straight left, and then, you know, it, it breaks his nose and fights over. If I predict, it'll be, you know, coming in, get a good, you know, combination, you know, see if, you know, get a bad shot, you know, capitalize from that bad shot, you know, going to his back or, you know, working my... In my, uh, my, you know, my submissions, and hopefully I can, I can make him tap, or, you know, I can knock him out in the first combination that I throw. 32-year-old Frank Trigg, 31-year-old Charuto Barisimo, and yes, there is a definitive, a definitive reach advantage with Trigg at just 5'9", and Barisimo at 6'1". Let's get this one underway. And our referee for this matchup between Trigg and Barisimo will be Herb Dean. You ready? You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Let's do it. Here we go. Frank made an interesting comment. The basis of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is defense. So Frank Trigg wants to be offensive against this BJJ black belt. There's a good example. It looked like Shiruta wants to go for the takedown. And again, superior wrestling that Trigg has is controlling the hips. He's keeping his hips out. Shooter went for a little judo inside leg sweep. Trig easily stepped over the top. Comes again. Good hip control. Now Trig wants to strike and continue to strike and not just get into a wrestling only mentality. He said sometimes when you see those kind of takedown opportunities like a $10,000 bill, you don't know if it's real or not, because it isn't, but it's sitting on the floor, you want to grab it. Definitely. I mean, so he wants to show his, 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 I think, wide array of talents here tonight, Frank. Which is a good thing for a fighter to have a good attitude to say, look, I want to show I'm versatile. But bottom line is you have to do what it takes to win. I think a lot of fighters need to realize, go for victory, do what you do well, show your versatility when what you do well doesn't work, and you have to switch to something else. Matching the pace will be key for Verissimo because Frank Trigg always pushes the pace. He thinks that that will help to force mistakes and cause some cardio fatigue. As Verissimo now has Frank Trigg pushed up against the fence. Definitely. And one thing that this is taking, look at Chiruta, he's using all his body to go ahead and power down on Trigg. Trigg's not having to do a whole lot, but just go ahead and block hips. He's delivering a few knees to the midsection, chipping shots. How much energy is this taking out of Chiruta? I have to guess it. That's tiring. He's a jiu-jitsu guy, not a wrestler. That when you're doing something you're not used to, oh, exchange of hands. Yep, they got it right in there. And the, there you go. And now that is that is wrestling 101. That's the mentality. Not always a bad thing because Frank Trigg was able to now, avoid the other strikes. Now we're going to see the two styled clashes. Um, right. Again, we said Trigg wanted to do stand-up. Started to get in trouble. Immediately his instincts took over. He shot on Sharuto. Now it's the wrestler inside the jiu-jitsu man's guard. Up against the fence. I'd like to throw out a happy anniversary to Steve and Beth Morrow, who are huge Ultimate Fighting Championship fans. And they are spending their anniversary with us. Steve and Beth Morrow, happy anniversary from all of us at Zufa in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Closed guard now. Frank Trigg does have the advantage of pushing Verissimo on the fence line. Armbar. Now to a leg lock. He's switching off. Great combination. If Frank Trigg falls down, he's in trouble. She was doing a spider guard. He's spinning out, taking a lot of abuse. And that's what Frank Trigg talked about. As he tries to submit me, I'm going to punch him in the face. And that's what he's trying to do. He said, it's, you know, it's hard to, to cap off a submission when you get punched in the Again, face. And there's some shots. Sruta puts himself in a bad position to be going what he's going for. He's going for sport jiu-jitsu. He does have a triangle attempt. Trigg's powering out. No, he's caught in the, oh. Trigg able to escape. power out. And again, he buries down a left. Now, Trigg is caught on his face. But he's starting to abuse Renato Verissimo. Very aggressive on top, doing exactly what he said he was going to do. I'm going to punish my opponent. So far, the Cerrito attempts on submissions were being nullified, and Trigg made him pay every time he went for a submission. Contrasting styles colliding, basically, aren't they, Frank? Definitely. I mean, you're seeing the mistakes, and maybe uh, the moves that Cerrito's going for are a little too sportive. All right, now they are back on their feet. Let's see if Trigg is comfortable engaging. Remember the reach advantage, but Trigg feels he's the better striker. He ducks inside, and down they go again. 135 remains in round again, one. Again going for a leg lock, and Trigg blocked it. He's coming over the top of the punches. I wonder if uh, Sharuda's going to feel the same confidence to go for it. Again, Sharuda has a triangle attempt locked up. He's over the shoulder. This time it's a lot deeper. If he pulls down on the head, and drives his hips up, this move could finish out Trigg if Trigg does not get around the corner and get his head out. Trigg's in trouble. Trigg is in a lot of trouble. Frank Trigg trying to survive, trying to cut off the air. Is Verissimo. He's in trouble. He's locked in. Can Trigg avoid? 
Trying to throw down a haymaker. Look for some... Oh! My, what a great job by Frank Trigg! Great escape. How much danger was he in there? In a lot of danger. Most guys would not have gotten out of that. That shows the ability of Trigg to escape. A lot of the heart really got him out of that. That wasn't a clean technical escape. That now, was just powering out of it, wasn't it, Frank? And that makes me wonder, now, what does that do gas-wise? When you power out of things, you're not using technique, it's tiring. But again, it's also disheartening for Sharuda to lock up an almost submission. You almost got the guy. The guy powers out of it. it takes a little out of you, too. Slippery submissions, very calm, likes to lull you to sleep, is what Frank Drake said about Renato Verissimo. And so far, the pace has been pushed, but there have been multiple submission attempts here in the contest so far. Trigg back up. He's going to try to come down and come down hard. And this is another example of Trigg's confidence. The guard has been open. He could step out of it. He didn't feel comfortable being in there. He is pursuing a ground game. He's not avoiding the submission game at all. Round one Passing is in the box. Round one. Reese of the triangles. He's tight. He, all he did basically was slam down and pull his head out. Schroeder didn't really have maybe the elbow caught deep enough. That escape is more of a luck thing. A little bit of sweat, a little bit of fatigue on Schroeder's side maybe. Not a clean escape. Yeah. Both fighters are equal martial artists. They have different things they're good at. But both are nullifying each other's uh, offenses and they both have great defenses to the other guy's uh, attributes. Let's see who gets tired first. The first round was very tiring to both guys. Well, as an American wrestler, as he calls himself quite frequently, Frank Trigg is very confident that he has superior conditioning. I guess we'll find out firsthand here tonight. And this is not a good position for Ceruto. His hips are up, his head is down. That tires you out. That's in the name of the groin. Frank Trigg motioning to Herb Dean, but it looks like he is fine. Both are trying to throw some knees in the clinch. Trigg, very much like we see out of Team Quest and Couture and Linda. I mean, he's a wrestler, so he likes control. Not a Greco-Roman wrestler like those guys, but still likes the wrestling control. Oh, they're exchanging. It's going. And Verissimo was right. Trigg trying to finish him off. Verissimo ducks under the combination. But he was stunned momentarily. He was. Trigg looks the sharper puncher. Trigg those are elbow. illegal. Got to be careful. He doesn't that was take an the illegal. elbow to the back of the head. He can take it. To the side. That was a clean to the back. Drop. I don't know why the referee isn't allowing that to happen, to be honest with you. I'm gonna stop it. You need to do something. You, you can go from the side with the elbows. You just not can you can just not go to the Correct. crown of the head. What I was meaning by the illegal elbows to me it seemed very obvious right. that he was hitting the back of his head. Right. Coming down on the back of the head is an illegal uh, move inside the UFC. Absolutely correct. You can go from the sides, and that is obviously to protect our fighters, because fighter safety is of the ultimate importance. Definitely, uh, Trigg's stand-up looks sharper than Sherudo. Sherudo is throwing sloppy punches. Trigg shot clean punches, and he's exactly who he wants to be. He's in Sherudo's half guard. He's going to pin him down and grind him out. Trigg's not going exerting a lot of energy right here. And Sherudo's going to have to exert some energy to get out of here, which is energy that I don't know how much he has left to spare. Frank Trigg, the four-time USA Wrestling All-American in 2000 with the Trials Finals, is really proud of the work he has done with his strength. Oh, stop it. Marisimo oh, stop it. is in trouble. Marisimo's in trouble, and it is all over. It is all over. Frank Trigg has won here in the second round by referee stoppage. And Frank Trigg is victorious. There's a combination being thrown here. Again, Sherudo stepping forward, his chin's up, he's looking sloppy due to fatigue. Here are triggers, sharp punches, hands inside. You can see straight punches beat sloppy punches. And then forcing Sherudo to go ahead and shoot. And in the end of the fight. At this point, I think Sherudo's just fatigued. He has nothing left. He's just holding on. At this point, it's just the referee has to stop the fight. There's, all that's going to happen now is we're going to damage a world-class fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 10 seconds of the second round. For the winner by TKO, Frank Twinkleton. So Frank Trigg survives a very tumultuous situation in round one, and he steps one notch closer to his ultimate dream, and that is the UFC welterweight belt. Here's Kerry Casey. What's up? That is what the UFC is all about, mixed martial arts. Submission, punch, submission, punch. That was an exciting fight. The crowd was on their feet. Did you think you'd take him with strikes? You know! 
that was a really tough fight against a really great opponent. Do you think you uh, deserve a, a shot at the title? I absolutely deserve a shot at the title. But it's not my decision to make. It's up to the management of the promotion team and my manager to make it happen. Hopefully, with this win, the way that I won, that they'll push me forth in the title fight, hopefully in February. I just hope that I'm going to be a champion that the UFC really wants to have on their side. I have a question for you. If you rematch shoes, what will you do differently? Beat him. <laughs> nice. Who do you think is going to win, Pierre Hughes? I got the money on Matt because I want to rematch with Matt. But if Pierre gets lucky, which the only way he can win is if he gets lucky, then I fight Pierre just the same and hopefully Matt will give me a rematch later. That fight rocked. Thank you. Thank you. It's awesome.